William's recent and untimely passing. Today's episode is go- is not going to be on the WWF Revenge game, or Attitude, not Revenge, whatever. Whichever game I was planning on doing. And instead we're going to review the Sega Genesis classic Aladdin, based on the movie, which has Robin Williams in it. During the early early 1990s, Sega made a lot of Disney-related games. Not just movie games, based off of their popular movies at the time, like Aladdin, Lion King, I think they made the Toy Story game too, but also other games like Disney's Castle, or Mickey's Castle of Illusion, and I think they made Quack Shots too, along with the other Mickey Mouse games. Most of these games were fantastic, and this one's no exception. As you can tell from the video, this is a beautiful Genesis game. One of the better looking games on the system at all, entirely. It has fluid animation, really large levels, and lots of colorful motion happening. Even those stupid clay pots fall on your head and kill you. That's not important. So, the game is basically a uh, 2D platformer, which is with really large levels. This video, I mean, this video is only going to be like the first two or three levels because that was like 25 minutes in, and that was more than enough video for this review. Basically, Aladdin can run, he can jump, and he throws apples. And he can swing the sword, which is really useful for killing guys that are close up and don't open. That way, you don't use your apples. Why apples kill people, I have no idea. But that's, that's not the point. So, you run and you go through the entire level, and you pretty much have to go through the whole level because it's. It's kind of like a maze type thing. Or not not really a maze, but it's more like... But it's vertical. There's about two or three levels up. And you pretty much have to go through them all in, or, in order to finish the level. The level is, is long horizontally, but it's also long vertically. And you have to go through pretty much all of it in order to finish a level. And there's each level has some sort of task or goal, like just get to the end, or the uh, desert level where you have to get the part, the half of the golden scarab from the movie. It, it for the most part it follows the movie pretty well. And there's a Master System Game Gear version which is different, but if I'm not mistaken, also follows the movie. I don't have that one. Basically, you play as Aladdin, and all of the at, or, then you have to go and attack the various guards and other nefarious people who are trying to stop you, who are basically based off of the nameless grunts from the movie, and you have to make it to the end of the level. If you haven't if you haven't heard over me talking, the music is actually really good. Every time somebody complains about the Genesis sound chip, I, I want to sh- I want to show some like some of this or some of the Sonic themes or even some other some other songs. People make really good music from the say out of the Sega Genesis sound chip. I mean, just. Just listen to this. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna shut up for a couple seconds and play the very beginning of the song of the, the game again, and just listen to it again. Okay, that's good enough. 
That's a, this is a really good sounding game. And it's a really good looking game. And it plays pretty well too. It's a little, it's a little challenging for a game based off a children's movie. But you get that a lot with the Disney, with the Sega Disney games. The Nintendo one versions of the game were all, I think, made by Capcom. It had the Disney license for Nintendo games at the time. Sega obviously didn't make the Nintendo games, that would be weird. But it's a really good sounding, good looking game. The con the it's it's a it's a it's a challenging game. That's really one of the things that gets it that makes it that takes it down a little bit from its from being great. It's still a really good game. And if you can find a copy, I would definitely suggest buying it. Fortunately I don't think it's available on the virtual console because licensed game and all that stuff. But yeah. Back in the day, there used to be some decent movie tie-in games. This was one of them. Aladdin for the Sega Genesis gets a official Last Call game score of an 8 out of 10. Next week we are going back into the squared circle. And we are going to review the WWF Attitude for the Sega Gen for the Dreamcast. So I can go back to food to working on those Dreamcast games.